What's Christmas without a little bit of toffee? You know toffee, that crunchy, buttery, caramely, delicious candy with chocolate and nuts? Well, I have a version for you, and let me just say, it's easy and it'll knock your socks off. Now we all know about the saltine toffee where they make the saltine crackers and pour the caramel over in the chocolate. Well, I'm changing it up a little bit. We're doing a pecan caramel toffee. Let's do it. Oh, did I mention there's graham crackers? We're doing a pecan graham cracker toffee. Let's get into it. First, you're gonna get yourself a cookie sheet, line it with foil, and go ahead and lay all these graham crackers down, okay? Lay the graham crackers down, don't break them up, don't touch them. So again, you're gonna need graham crackers laid on that foil sheet that we saw. You're gonna need two sticks of butter, one cup of brown sugar. You can use light or dark. I like dark because it's a little bit more molasses-y. And you're gonna need a cup of pecans, okay? And that's it, y'all. Now let's let the magic begin. In a medium saucepan, you're gonna melt your butter with your one cup of brown sugar. We don't wanna touch it. Don't mix it, let it melt, and it needs to boil for two minutes till it looks like this. Once it's bubbling like that, you're gonna go ahead and turn off your heat. And you are going to add a cup of pecans, chopped pecans. Pecan, pecan, whatever you call it, add a cup of it. Mmm, oh my God, this is gonna be so good. It's in boiling. We are going to literally just pour this all over our graham crackers. Wow, look at that. Wow. And make sure you get a spreader and spread it out. It'll be all nice and covered. It doesn't matter if they don't look perfect, trust me. The oven will do the rest of the magic. Now we're gonna put this in our oven for 350, on, well our oven's gonna be on 350 degrees for seven to 10 minutes. So let's get them in this oven, y'all. They're gonna be so good, trust me. People are gonna be like, what in the world? Let's go. Check these out, you guys. I just pulled them from the oven. Oh my gosh, they smell amazing. Don't worry if they don't get all on the ends. It's okay, you want them to be kind of rustic. We gotta let these cool. It take about 20 minutes, but before we let them cool, we wanna get our chocolate chips and spread them on there to give them that nice little chocolatey toffee touch. We love a Nestle Toll House. Oh my gosh, now just spread them out. The residual heat is gonna melt them. Look. Oh my gosh, look at, they're just melting. They're melting. We're gonna just spread them. Look at that melt, look at that chocolate melt. Oh my, oh my. Oh, hallelujah, God. Y'all, they smell so bomb. Now, some people also like to put flaky salt on them, you know, to bring out the flavors. I don't have flaky salt, but I might put a little sprinkling of salt. But let's just get these nice and smooth down. Here's the finished product. Look at that. Look at how it melts. Now, they still need to cool, so we're gonna give them like 20 to 30 minutes to cool them. We're gonna break them apart, add a little flaky salt, and y'all, ooh, we gonna be ready. It's set up, y'all. It's set up so nice. Look at it. I know it looks kind of crazy, but we have to just break it apart now. Now you would break it apart like you would do a regular graham cracker. So let's do it. Finished product. Look how beautiful this looks, y'all. It looks like toffee and it's time for a taste. I can't wait. Here we go. Good. This is so good! You like it, Josh? Josh, you tried some too. I put a little salt on top of it, y'all. It is, it's toffee. It's toffee. It's toffee, that's the only way I can put it. it, it look at that. Look at what happens to the bottom. It gets like toffee-ish. <laughs> Please make this. If you don't make nothing, I ain't told you to make this whole Christmas vlog mess. Make this, it is everything and you will love it. Thank you guys so much for watching. I'll see you next time on Vlogmas.